Good morning farmers. It's a very cold and chilly Thursday morning and I know you have two jackets of gumboots, a hat on and a hood. Yeah, you have everything to keep you warm. But what about your crops? What are what is keeping your crops warm? You see how cold the weather is today? So this is fog, like you know it is in Limuru. The crops are trying to survive but obviously they cannot have the same output in the cold season like they do during the warm season so you have to continually protect them how have you protected your crop or are you waiting for fungal infections to affect you and then you'll be like they don't have anything to take to the market so i am going to give you a quick peek of how my plants are looking like i have some tomatoes i have strawberries i have uh, cauliflower i also have managu i have some others that are called uh bareka that's what my mother calls them but they are very sweet they are vegetables and they grow so well i have tried kude and amrenda during this cold season twice they have not actually they germinate but they do not grow to maturity sometimes they are eaten by the birds when they are very tiny so i don't think i'm going to be growing those anytime soon not unless it, the weather changes to very hot weather during this cold weather the plants are prone to fungal infections and the best way that you can do it's to protect them so how the plants behave when they have a fungal infection is that they are going to turn yellow they are also going to be like having those brown and yellow spots sometimes the yellowing can be because of lack of nitrogen and the nutrition but mostly the yellowing happens when there is a fungal infection and which is brought about by the cold season so during this time when it is so intensely cold remember we cannot dress our crops neither can we do a fire on them we are going to be affected by the cold anyway we can spray fungicides and cover them from the cold so i'm going to show you exactly what i use i use regain from real ipm which has been really of help and i keep telling farmers anytime that you're going to be trying fungicides pesticides or anything make sure that you do a pilot test first see how the plants are going to respond and then you will be doing the entire crops if the fungicides perform well so for me the real ipm product has been really marvelous uh things but i have not sprayed to the noise these are not so prone to cold this one survive either way they are just that organic and that is what we eat for githeri that is what we prepare mbukimo with as you protect yourself from the cold remember the plants also need the care yes and do not say that i will do it like one week after it has been cold if you have the money if you have the resources do it now do not wait like what are you waiting for? Do you wait to have a cold for you to take medicine? No, they always say prevention is better than cure. So make sure that you prevent your crops from getting those fungal infections by spraying the fungicides on time. So this is what I use to spray my crops with. The only problem I have with this product is that it has a very, very short shelf life. So we bought this one in 11th July because I guess that is when they remove it because it is bio. So it is going to last us for only 8 weeks. If you are spraying a large area, it is perfect because you see this is just 2 months. 2 months and it is done. However, it is very very effective. This is what we bought for testing in February this year and it performed well. This was how many grams? 250 grams they sell this at 290 shillings and then 1500 shillings for one liter but it is very very effective that's why i like it i only hate the shelf life i normally put this full so this is 25 ml so i put two of these when it is cold so that is 50 ml one two of that for a 20 liter farm you're not going to be spraying your crop so regularly the fungicide might not might go bad before you are done so i put my fungicides before i put my water so that they can mix as i do don't put your water first otherwise it will not mix properly 
but now when you put it like this by the time you are done with the water it is enough and it has mixed well so that is a 20 liter knapsack and i'm not going to mix it with anything i'm just going to spray the fungicides if you want to be mixing you first test with a small portion Until next time guys, bye bye, remember to subscribe, like and share.